Hey guys, I just want to talk about World of Warcraft subscription numbers uh, really quickly. Blizzard has recently announced that uh, their subscriber numbers remain at 10.2 million. Uh, I think it's a lot of bullshit, so I did the math. And also while I'm here, uh, also on May 9th, Star Wars The Old Republic, they say that they have 1.3 million subscribers. So what I did was, I went to the xpro.com slash games, I went to the World of Warcraft numbers. Um, these numbers are number of hours played per day for the following users using XFire. Like yesterday, uh, it was about 48,000 hours. And you see it goes ups and down. So I took all of these numbers for the last 30 days from World of Warcraft and the numbers for the last 30 days in Star Wars The Old Republic. And I went, uh, put the numbers in here from uh, 20th April to 20th of May. Then, I took these numbers and I divided by this number. So I went WoW numbers divided by Star Wars numbers. And I did it for all of these, and I get this ratio. Since um, Bioware or um, EA Games, whichever one, they claim that Star Wars The Old Republic has currently 1.3 million subscribers. So I took this ratio and I multiplied it by 1.3 million, and I got 5.82, nowhere near the 10.2 million Blizzard's, Blizzard claims. Now, I understand that Xfire is not the best source. The numbers could be a little bit higher, it could be a little bit lower, but 5.82 is nowhere near 10 million. It could be 6 million, it could be 5 million, maybe even 7 million, but I doubt it. But I can say that, safely say that World of Warcraft does not have anywhere near 10 million subscribers that Blizzard claims to have. Now, people will say that, oh yeah, you're using Xfire, Xfire is not reliant. Well, I would like to say that Xfire is the currently in the world the most reliant program that you can use for gaming, aside from the actual data, official data from the companies. And as you know, companies like to lie about their data to make their company look better. And uh, what Blizzard is doing is exactly uh, what Blizzard is doing is exactly what I just said. They are lying about their data. They don't have 10.2 million subscribers. They say that they still do because if Blizzard says that their game is dying, everyone's gonna stop quitting it. People are gonna start quitting the game, and they're not gonna get any new subscribers. Because why would you want to play a game that is dying, right? So Blizzard says that so they get newer subscribers. So nobody's going to worry about the game dying, when in fact, it actually is. Now, um, so I mean, 12, going back to the how good the data is. Now, um, 2,000 users is not that much, but Star Wars World probably is the second most played MMO. I mean, if you compare data within like the top 10 or something like that, then the data would be pretty accurate. But if you start going down and you go to games that play like $30, uh, not $30, 30 hours a day, then this data would be very bad. You can't compare these games. So you, I think it's okay to compare the games when they have a huge amount of hours because there's very little room for error. So that's why I did it. And uh, I think that my data is pretty accurate. I mean, it could be off by maybe 1 million. But again, it's nowhere close to 10.2 million.